We're talking to people about financial literacy today, and I guess the big question is, what does it mean to be financially literate? In my opinion, it means that you don't have to move back to your moms and dads. In your own words, or anyone else's words, uh, what do you think financial literacy is? Well, at least having a general knowledge of uh, savings and spending, and a, uh, a knowledge of how maybe money works within the economy. What does it mean? Uh, to not spend more than you make. If they can't answer the question, well, what does it really cost you to, to, to live, then that means that they probably don't have a budget. One third of, of, of Americans uh, have never sat down to try to establish a budget to help them run their financial life. Do you spend more than you make? Oh, yeah. I don't make that much. <laughs> so it's easy to spend more than you make for you? Well, definitely. Yeah. What about you? Um, I have to budget and prioritize. I can't go over my limit. Um, I have a monthly sheet that I go by and pay all my bills first and, and you know, break down what I need, what I can spend and cannot spend. So what you're saying is you're some kind of bizarre freak. Are you guys, are you savers or spenders? Yes. We're, we're from Cincinnati and we're very conservative. And how much money have you spent so far today? Today, probably about 20 bucks. And what did that go for? Something useful and worthwhile, I hope. Um, lunch and a belt. Ah. Uh, now, uh, would you say you're a spender or a saver? Spender. Sp spender. So what do you spend your money on? Um. Now, would you characterize yourself as a spender or a saver? Uh, I'm kind of streaky. I go on streaks where I save and then I go on streaks where I just blow it all. <laughs> I'm a saver. Yeah, really? Have you always been a saver, like when you're a little kid? Yep. Like when you got your Halloween candy, did you like make a big pile and dole it out a little bit at a time? Actually, I sold it. I brought it to school and then I sold it and then I saved the money to buy skates. Now that is what I call financial acumen, selling your Halloween candy to other kids. That's genius. Do you have a credit card? Yes, I do. It does it have a balance on it? Yes, it does. And how does that make you feel? Uh, a no sense of shame, yeah. disgust, <laughs> low self-loathing. Yes. How many credit cards do you have? Three. Three? I only use one. You only use one? What are the other two for, just to impress the chicks? I just want to say this credit card, that I can barely even feel the numbers. <laughs> I mean, this baby has been, this baby has been used. I have more than I use. I have two that I use. And the other ones are just for, like, popping locks and breaking into places. Do you have credit cards? Yeah, yeah, I just got a new one today. I don't want to be judgmental or anything, but that makes me sick. When the bill shows up after you've swiped your card 10 to 20 times at, at the mall, most people are surprised at how much they spent. What about you? Where are you at? Debit or credit? Um, always debit because I don't want to get into credit or bad credit and forget to pay my bills. Have you ever checked your credit report? Yes. And? It's They're good. letting it, it's good? <laughs> yeah. How do you know it's good? What is, do they have a rating system or something? The average American ca carries eight or 10 credit cards in their wallet. And believe me, if you have eight or 10 credit card statements, it's pretty easy to miss paying an invoice one month. And then not only are you paying interest, but you're paying a late fee. Have you ever been bankrupt or known anybody who has? Uh, I've known people that have gone bankrupt. M myself, I have not been bankrupt. And how painful was it? Uh, it was, it's a process and it's a long time recovering. Ever known anybody who's had to file for bankruptcy or got any serious financial trouble? Uh, yes, yep. I have a friend of a family who had to file for bankruptcy. Well, it's rough. Yep, yep, and your, your credit's no good for seven years. Yep. Are you saving any money at all right now? No, I think I have debt, so definitely, so I'm paying up debt. And I'm also, you know, in the process of starting you know, a business, and so that means, in some ways, accumulating debt. You don't look scared. <laughs> now, one of the things they say about Americans is we're, we're too big spenders, too big live for a day, we don't save money. Does that happen over in England, too? Uh, yes, it does. There's a, there's a quite high um, debt ratio in England at the moment. Um, everyone has buy stuff on credit. Yeah, that's just crazy talk. What kind of, uh, what, what are the kind of things you like to spend money on? Uh, clothes, um, my grandchildren, um, we like to spend money on our vacations. Do you ever, uh, look around your house and go, why in the hell did I buy that? All the time. I don't always know how much is in my checking account. <laughs> Almost never, in fact. <laughs> 
Well, does this create friction no, with the no, financial, no, Mr. Financial so Advisor? That. I'm so over that. But look who I have do it. I don't do it myself. See, there you go. If he was has a problem, he can do it himself. Do you guys have? Have you guys had the big financial talk? Which after the sex talk is the second most important talk. <laughs> we have many financial. <laughs> they say that most couples fight about uh, sex and money. Mm -hmm. I know that's true. I mean, my wife is charging me quite a bit. And... <laughs> So what's your big personal financial concern right now? I, I think uh, part of it would be where interest rates are going, uh, you know, how strong is the economy? Will the economy stay strong? Will people continue to invest? What effect does uh, the nation's budget deficit, what does that have on, on the financial markets? Smarter than Alan Greenspan, but not smarter than me. What's your biggest financial worry right now at this stage in your life? Um, I just had a child about 15 months ago, and we're going to have another child, and, uh... It's funny, you figure really doesn't look... That, it concerns me nowadays is, uh, Social Security, Social Security and stuff with the kids that are coming up. They're saying that's not going to be there for them, and they're not really looking for it. Money isn't important to me, you know? I mean, I know that I need it to survive in this society, but I don't like that, yeah. <laughs> so... But that's the way it is. You can't, like, trade chickens for things anymore. Speaking as a, a agricultural professional, do you think we'll ever go back to using chickens as currency? What's your biggest financial worry at this stage in your life? Retirement, being able to uh, support my lifestyle as I would uh, like. <laughs> with, the, with the gold shoes and all that. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so that tells you something right there. I believe that most people will need almost as much money in retirement as they are used to spending while they're working. The average person will work 40 years and live 30 years beyond that. So if we realize that we're gonna spend as many years living off of what we saved as we did working, uh, that should tell you something. Do you have any financial goals for yourself? Not really, I kind of think that um, money is overrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess to own a house and I own a car, so I'm already there. Be able to support my family, you know, put away for college and stuff like, you know, for my kids' future, um, you know, put away a nest egg for retirement. And Do you, have a, you know what my goal is, is to have a bathroom that's entirely gold-plated. <laughs> trying to be on crib. With a fur floor, <laughs> like those rap guys have. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Are you worried about having enough money for retirement? I mean, I realize you're only 29, but... That is a concern, actually, yeah, yeah. All right, so what, what's scarier, thinking about retirement or running into a burning building? Retirement is absolutely more scary because I don't have complete control over it. My, my uh, financial plan actually resembles a burning building in some ways. <laughs> when it comes to financial planning, I think this is the, the tool that everybody needs to be thinking about. First of all, will he have enough money to survive until 50? What is it? Can I predict now? That's how life is, even with the magic eight ball on your side. You guys have uh, have to say, do you have retirement or government pensions over there for when you get too old? Yeah. We have a state pension, but it's encouraged early, at an early age, from sort of 16 to 19 onwards, really, that you best to take out a private a private pension. How much uh, planning did it take to be able to re retire when I, you did? Well, I started planning my uh, pension when I was 19. I'm now 63. Uh, are you saving any money for uh, retirement or for the baby or for any reason at all? Um, I'm saving money in a 401k. And what is a 401k? I don't know. Time is your best money maker. Time and discipline. Every 10 years that goes by where you're not saving, you're, you're at a minimum having the amount of money that you're going to have for your future. You're cutting in half the amount of money that you're going to have for your future. One last question. What's your most important piece of financial advice for other young persons out there? Uh, put away as much as you can in deferred comp. Always pay your bills on time. That's the biggest thing. You just save your money. Don't get credit cards. Pay off your debts. How much money would you say you have on your right now? Can I have $5? <laughs> I'm a little sure. I'm not doing that well. I'm more of a spender. Can I borrow $5? No. Can I have $5? Can I have five dollars? Uh, no. I really do need that five dollars. <laughs> do you take credit cards? 